100 style tips in less than seven minutes. You ready, gents? Let's do this. So starting this off, tip number one, anytime you can, wear a jacket. Jackets build up the shoulders, trim up the waistline. When standing and wearing a jacket, make sure to button it up or zip it up. If your jacket has a breast pocket, stuff it with a pocket square. When adjusting the jacket sleeve length, you want to see a half an inch of the shirt sleeve cuff. Before buying a suit jacket or sports jacket, make sure it's long enough and covers the curvature of your buttocks and fits in the chest. Yes, you can wear a double-breasted jacket. It's the most formal of suit jackets. When buying a double-breasted jacket, look at the button placement. You want to go for the Y placement, not the V placement. Double-breasted jackets are always buttoned. If you've got to make a choice between being overdressed or underdressed, choose to be overdressed. Don't be afraid of wearing a complicated pattern, especially when it comes to your pocket squares. Watch any movie with Ryan Gosling. Take notes on the way he dresses. Don't be afraid to be the best dressed man in the room. The first two dress shirts a man shirt owns should be white. After that, he can start to bring in blue. And then after the fifth dress shirt, he can bring in combinations of white and blue. Dark colored dress shirts are not dress shirts. There's no such thing. This is a casual button down. When it comes to shirts like this, they're fun, but they're loud. They're always casual. Shirts like this are also, because of the large thick stripes, are going to be casual. Shirts like this, because of the large patterns, are going to be casual. When buying a suit jacket or sport jacket, have it adjusted by the company you're buying it from. If you don't trust them, take it to your tailor. Know the name of your tailor. This guy's going to make you look great. Tip your tailor. Try to match dark trousers with dark socks. It doesn't have to be an exact match. The right type of jeans should fit you well, have no signs of distress, and in general, be a darker color. That being said, don't be afraid to bring some color into your denim wardrobe. Black, red, go with maybe a tan. Experiment. What? Only have jeans in your wardrobe? Guys, try mixing it up. You like the fitted jeans? Then find something made from a different material. Give it a shot. Okay, you want something made from a lightweight tropical wool because you're in a hot area? Give it a try. Maybe try the color gray. Gray is going to match almost anything in your wardrobe. When it comes to a bright color, don't be afraid to experiment. Try to match your belt with your shoes. But what if your leathers don't match up exactly? Don't worry, guys. Close is good enough. Belts are an amazing accessory. and Don't be afraid to have a wide variety of colors and different textures and different materials used with your belts so that you can liven up your outfit. Guys, if your belt is so warped, bent, and stretched, it looks like this, you need to upgrade. So where can a stylish man find an amazing variety of belt buckles and straps? Guys, Anson Belt and Buckle, the paid sponsor of today's video, their product is an amazing belt buckle that has this awesome interchangeable system. So if you haven't seen it, all of their buckles work with all of their straps. The next thing I love about Anson Belt and Buckle is their micro adjust technology. Notice there are no bell holes and this basically runs on a track system that adjusts every quarter of an inch. Also, the hole kind of gets worn out. It basically bends and gets all warped, you don't have that issue with a micro adjust system. Now let's talk about their customer service. These guys go above and beyond. I know David and Frank, they take care of their customers like their family. And that's the kind of company I want to suggest and send you guys to. Gents, I'm linking to Anson Belt and Buckle down in the description of this video. Go check them out. An amazing company. I'm proud to support them. Belts or suspenders? Choose one. Don't wear both. Everything you own needs to fit you. No exceptions. Know the style pyramid. Fit, function, and fabric. Watch any movie with Cary Grant. Take notes on the way he dresses. Go to the best menswear store in your area and try on that expensive clothing because you want to know what the best clothing looks and feels like on your body. Go to a jewelry store and see in person what an expensive watch looks like and feels like in your hands. Know your why. Know what you stand for. Dress accordingly. Understand, there are no absolute rules in men's style. That being said, it's nice to know the foundational rules so you can avoid making stupid mistakes when you're first starting out. If you don't feel confident wearing a piece of clothing, don't wear it. To become confident wearing a piece of clothing, you have to practice wearing it. Where to practice wearing clothing that may make you feel awkward? Try around your house. Sometimes less is more. Don't be afraid to tone down your outfit. Be careful of fashion trends. Most men are following them and don't even know it. The graphic tee is a fashion trend. If you're wearing a baseball cap and you're not playing baseball, you're not rooting on your favorite team, you are caught in a fashion trend. That being said, if you like headwear, why not wear a functional piece that is more stylish and is going to keep your head warm? There's over a hundred ways to tie a necktie. Do yourself a favor, learn three. There are particular necktie knots that work better with certain shirt collar styles. 
Don't be afraid to wear a necktie for no reason other than you just want to look great. Neckties made from silk are going to be the most formal of neckties. Knitted neckties made from materials other than silk are still going to be more casual than silk. Rough wool neckties with small patterns are some of the most casual neckties out there and are not appropriate for business wear with a suit. Are you wearing a necktie and it's getting in the way? Try a bow tie. An easy way for a pocket square and necktie to complement each other, make sure they've got one color in common. Running shoes are for running and that's about it. This is a pair of penny loafers. You do not need to put a penny here. When spending a lot of money on shoes, you want to go for a Goodyear welt or a Blake stitch. You can identify Blake stitch shoes by the stitching right here on the bottom of the sole. With a Goodyear welt, you want to see stitching on two sides, both on the bottom of the sole and right here where the sole meets the upper. Most men should own more shoes. Don't be afraid to have 10 pairs. Black is always the most formal dress shoe color. An alternative to black is dark brown or oxblood. Either can be worn with a suit. The bit of broguing on this cap toe is the only difference between these shoes. Therefore, this shoe right here is more casual. Be able to spot a blucher. That is a dress shoe that has an open lacing system and is not as formal as a closed lacing system. Dress shoes with no lacing system are always more casual and are best suited towards more casual wear. If you like black dress shoes, try Oxford. Trust me. Every man should own a pair of boots. And most men should have at least two pairs. Invest in a good shoe shine box. Every man should have some neutral polish. It's safe to use on black, brown, oxblood. Doesn't matter the color of the shoe. It's going to add protection and shine. If you've got dark and light colored shoes, you want dark and light colored brushes to be used accordingly. You don't want to use a dark colored brush that has some black polish on it on your light colored shoes. Be careful when wearing regional clothing outside of your region. These boots are perfectly fine for a business meeting in Houston, Texas, but up in New England, they might be out of place. Don't be afraid to go deep on particular style subjects. You like watches, you like boots. Guys, a lot of great information out there. Own any book on men's style. When reading books that have nothing to do with men's style, pay attention to how Dressing Sharp can help you have more influence and more impact. Subscribe to Esquire or GQ. Doesn't matter. I want you to get a monthly reminder to dress sharp. Learn to sew on a button. Learn to hem your own trousers. You're going to save yourself a lot of time and headache. Dressing well is just the tip of the iceberg if you want to succeed. You need to understand body language. You need to know how to interact with other people. Sunglasses are an amazing accessory. Use them. Any piece of menswear with a military heritage is a safe bet to have in your wardrobe. Except in the case of Stolen Valor. Don't wear a Ranger tab if you didn't earn it. Watch more recent movies with George Clooney and pay attention to the way he dresses. Always dress better than the bare minimum. I think every man needs about three watches. A casual watch, a sport watch, and a dress watch. When people ask you, why did you dress up? Have a fun response ready, such as, I dressed up because I knew I was going to meet you. Try to match your medals. For me, I'm a silver guy. Silver ring, silver buckle, silver watch. Wedding rings are exempt. Don't be afraid to mix medals. Gold with silver looks great. And remember, gents, impeccable grooming. You can be wearing a $1,000 suit looking great, but no one wants to be around you if you stink. Speaking of smell, if you don't have a signature scent, find one. And remember, gentlemen, if you're going to wear a sword, wear it on the side opposite your dominant hand so you can immediately reach over, pull it out, and defend yourself. All right, gents, we made it with just a few seconds to spare. What'd you think? I thought that was a fun video. Hopefully you learned something new. And if you want to watch an old video, me talking about Anson Belt and Buckle, this is seven years ago. I was talking about this company. Check out this video right here. It's one of the first videos I ever put up on this channel talking about this amazing company that I've just known the founders that come out to Menfluential. They are just amazing people. I've been very proud to work with them. So I do appreciate when you support the sponsor, even if you just simply reach out to them and say, hey, I saw you on Real Men Real Style and I love what you're doing. It's a father-son combination over there. They're a small company and I just love to see them grow and uh, yeah, you know, it's just cool stuff. So guys, that's it. Take care. I will see you in the next video. And I have been working with this company for over Kill that one. Yeah. Asian Beetle versus the Anson Belton Buckle. Oh yeah. Feel that power? Don't mess with the Anson Belt Strap.